The automobile industry has been changing rapidly, especially with the rise of electric vehicles, unlike the formal cars with internal combustion engines, which were mostly made by Japanese, American, and European automakers. China has taken the lead in the EV industry. They've already sold about 5.4 million battery electric vehicles, and by 2023, they're expected to reach a total of 14 million electric vehicle sales. It's impressive how China managed to outshine big names like Tesla, General Motors, and even Toyota in such a short time. But how did they do it? Well, let's find out. Back in the day, China didn't have much experience in making high-quality cars for its people. So they relied on cars imported from Japan, Europe, and the United States of America. But those cars couldn't keep up with the growing demand and environmental concerns. You see, millions of cars emitting harmful gases were causing terrible air pollution. So, China decided to invest in new automobile technology to tackle this problem. They turned their focus to electric vehicles, something that big players like General Motors and Toyota had previously dismissed. However, this turned out to be a brilliant move. Electric vehicles not only addressed the air pollution issue, but also presented an opportunity for China to take over the auto industry. By embracing EVs, China made affordable and high-quality cars that were also eco-friendly with no harmful CO2 emissions. They went from being known for producing fake and low-quality goods to becoming a hero in the EV market. Their efforts not only reduced air pollution, but also helped them become a major player in the global auto market. Moreover, this shift to EVs reduced their reliance on crude oil imports from other countries, which is essential for their economy. Back in 2001, China had a significant realization that it had stumbled upon something that could completely transform its economy. The Chinese government decided to invest in technologies related to electric vehicles, and this became a top priority in their five-year plan, which is a crucial economic strategy. A pivotal moment for the EV industry in China came in 2007, when Wang Gan, an automobile engineer with experience at Audi in Germany, became the Minister of Science and Technology. Wang was a strong advocate for EVs and even got the chance to test drive Tesla's first EV model, the Roadster, upon its release in 2008. His influence was enormous, and under his guidance, China fully embraced the idea of electric vehicles. Since then, developing EVs has been a central focus of the country's economic planning. China's government has a knack for directing resources toward the industries it wants to nurture, and it did the same with the semiconductor industry. In 2009, they started providing financial incentives to electric vehicle companies to manufacture buses, taxes, and cars for individuals. In the beginning, only a few EVs were sold in China, but with increased funding, companies could improve their models and make EVs more affordable for consumers. The government's commitment to electric vehicles was significant as they invested over $29 billion in subsidies and tax breaks for the EV sector. This continued until 2022, when the policy shifted to a more market-oriented approach. Nonetheless, this initial support had already achieved its goal, as China became the global leader in EV sales. In 2022, they sold over 6 million EVs, accounting for more than half of all EVs sold worldwide. Apart from subsidies and tax breaks, the Chinese government implemented other policies to encourage people to buy electric vehicles. For instance, getting a license plate for a gasoline car in cities like Beijing was difficult and expensive, but buying an electric vehicle provided a way to bypass these restrictions. Moreover, local governments worked hand-in-hand -hand with EV automakers to create policies that facilitated their growth. For example, BYD, a Chinese company competing with Tesla in the EV market, collaborated closely with Shenzhen to electrify the city's entire public bus fleet. Chinese automakers have a few advantages that make them stand out in the electric vehicle industry. They offer affordable prices and a wide variety of models to cater to different consumer preferences. Moreover, they excel in areas like unique designs, advanced driver assist systems, fatigue monitoring, lane departure warnings, automatic emergency braking, and voice recognition. These strengths set them apart from their competitors in America and Europe. Chinese-made cars are already becoming more common on American streets. For instance, Volvo XC60s made in China are sold in the US, and General Motors produces its Buick Envision in China too. Now, Chinese-made cars from Chinese brands are also expected to enter the American market. One of the main reasons for this trend is that China sees a chance to become a global leader in hybrid and electric vehicles. They have a lot of knowledge in making batteries, 
which is crucial for these types of vehicles, and they have access to the raw materials needed to produce them. Experts believe that the preferences of car buyers in the US and Europe may soon align more with those of Chinese consumers. They might start prioritizing affordable advanced technology and features in EVs rather than traditional vehicle attributes like ride and handling. European mass-market car manufacturers such as Stellantis, Renault, and Volkswagen are considered more vulnerable to risks compared to higher-priced players like BMW, Mercedes, and Porsche. The lower-end BMW and Mercedes vehicles might also face competition from Tesla. On the other hand, the Chinese company BYD has entered the premium territory with its sporty Satan called Han and the large seven-seater SUV Tang. There's a significant difference in the product offerings between mass-market carmakers and their competitors. Factors like infotainment, driving range, interiors, and advanced driver assist systems ADAS, may not match up well for mass-market players. This raises the question of whether these companies can produce profitable battery electric vehicles that can compete with popular models from Chinese automakers like BYD. In 2022, a whopping 229,020 units were sold worldwide, making up 25% of all the battery electric vehicles sold by BYD during that time. In the middle of this year came the BYD Dolphin, which has been exported to countries like Europe, Australia, and Thailand. But here's the cool thing. It got some upgrades. To meet stricter crash safety rules in those places, the car's dimensions were lengthened. This makes sure the Dolphin is all safe. What about the great-looking, fun-to-drive MG4 with extraordinary value for money? Surprisingly, all these Chinese cars fall below $35,000. How many European or American automakers will be able to produce such cars in terms of value for money? To stay competitive with China in the EV industry, European car makers need to create an affordable and profitable vehicle priced at €25,000 $28, after taxes. If they fail to do so, it could weaken them significantly, potentially leading to demands for tariff protection. European car makers face two main threats, declining sales in China due to local EV makers gaining market share and increasing sales of imported Chinese EVs produced by Chinese automakers. The greatest risk comes from Chinese-made electric vehicles, which could result in an annual loss of profits of $77.7 billion by 2030 unless appropriate actions are taken. To address these challenges, policymakers should consider implementing reciprocal tariffs on imported cars from China, invest in the development of EV battery materials and technologies, and allow Chinese car makers to build vehicles in Europe. However, taking action is complicated by the fact that many German manufacturers earn significant profits from China and wouldn't want to provoke any retaliatory measures. Now looking at the situation in the US, China is ahead in adopting electric vehicles. Local Chinese EV brands are leading the market, but they face competition from foreign companies like General Motors and Volkswagen. Tesla, an American company with a factory in Shanghai, started a price war, prompting around 40 Chinese EV brands to cut their prices to stay competitive. Even NIO, known for its high-end image, had to lower prices due to the intense competition in the Chinese market. China's advantage in EV battery production also gives them cost benefits, as they control the supply chain and key raw materials like lithium and cobalt. However, there are concerns that political factors might hinder the localization of China's battery technology in the US, which could potentially affect customers negatively. While US automakers are present in China, there are currently no Chinese automakers operating in the US market. Chinese automakers are already making significant strides in Europe, and their next target is the US market. Nao and Geely are leading the charge, with William Lei, the founder and CEO of Neo, expressing their commitment to providing excellent service and a convenient user experience similar to traditional fuel cars. They believe that if they have successfully achieved this in China, they can do it in Europe and the United States as well. Other countries are likely envious of China's success in the EV industry, but replicating the same level of achievement might not be as straightforward for them.